Hi there, and welcome to this quick video on where you can find our new Acer exams and how you can set them for your students. So we'll start here in the control panel and we'll go straight into assessments and we'll click on new assessment right at the top. Now we want to use an existing assessment, so we'll click that button. Then we need to pick who's going to do it, so I'll assign it to my students. We need to choose what we're doing. So we're going to go into French, language is an action and grammar workbook. Acer, and there we've got Certificate 1, Certificate 2, and Certificate 3. Now we'll just do Certificate 1 for this, so we'll confirm our selection. We'll choose our options. That all looks good to me. And we'll choose when we want our students to do it, and I'm going to go with right now. So I'll assign the task. Now this link here you can give to your students, and when they click on it they will access the task directly. Otherwise, once they log into the program it will prompt them to say, hey, you've got an assessment that you need to set. So we'll click on got it, and I will jump across and do it as a student so you can see how it functions. So I'm here in the student zone and you can see that it's prompting me to set my ASO ALC French Certificate 1 assessment. So we'll click on select and it will load that for us. Now it's going to warn me that I only get one attempt at this, I have an hour to do it, and it says that the questions will be marked at the end of the assessment and if for any reason I exit early, I must resume before the time limit is up. So I'll start my assessment. Question A1. Guillaume is talking to Daphne. Bonne et heureuse année, ma chérie. Bonne et heureuse année, ma chérie. And all the students need to do is select the correct answer. So I'll select the new year. And I'll press next. Question A2. And the students just keep repeating that throughout the assessment. Now once a student reaches the end of their assessment, all they do is click submit at the top. And they'll be warned that they can now no longer change their answers once they click it. So we'll click on submit. And that's it. Assessment has been submitted. So I'll go back in as a teacher and now we'll mark it. So we can see that the assessment has been completed. So if I go into marking, it informs me that the marking for this exam is totally complete because the system has done it for me automatically. So if I click on analysis, I can see exactly how the class did as an average. So you can see the class averaged that these two were completely wrong every time. And I can see how the individual student has done by clicking view details and I can then double check by clicking mark attempt. And so it brings up the question, it highlights the correct answer as well as their answer. And if we scan our eye down the list, we can see that these are all correct, except for this one. So the first answer was correct, but the second answer wasn't. But because it's a two-part question, I'm going to give them a one by clicking edit mark, going back to the question and changing that to a one. And then doing the same thing here, where it's also a two-part question and they've got half of it, they'll get a one for that as well. Then we'll save and exit. And that's all you do. So there you have assigned an assessment to your students. They've gone through and they've completed it and you've double-checked the marking. Now students can also access this as a revision task by going to the same place. So the Languages in Action folder, the Exams subfolder, then Acer, and then choosing the certificate they want to do. The only difference is if your student does it as a revision task, they'll be prompted to mark it themselves, which is the exact same process that you just saw. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch. Otherwise, thanks for watching.